Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. The City in the Earth Agartha is the name of the legendary city which supposedly sits at the core of the Earth. Some cultures call it Shambhala, while others call it Shangri-La, but in all the stories, the city is the same. It's a mythical paradise hidden in a mysterious land that lies undiscovered by modern humans under the surface of the world. Everywhere you go on the planet, there is some group of ancient people who at least has heard stories of the world hiding inside the hollow center of our Earth. There are said to be entrances everywhere. The only issue is that to reach this world under our own, you need to go deeper into the Earth than most people are capable of. But some have claimed you can access the underground world through the Kentucky Mammoth Cave. There's supposedly a door near Iguazu Falls in Brazil, and there's another entrance underneath the Great Pyramid of Giza. Apparently, you can enter Agartha in the South Pole as well. And there is a portal in the underground city of Xinhua in Mongolia too. So, if anybody makes it, be sure to let us know. Number 9. The Global Flood the story of the Great Flood is not only a tale in the Bible, but it's also one of the greatest mysteries of the Earth. Scientists, theologians, and archaeologists have been arguing for centuries about whether or not a biblical flood truly swept across the planet. Dr. Robert Ballard, a well-known underwater archaeologist, believes he has found proof it really happened. According to what Robert said in an interview with ABC News, he and his team uncovered evidence of ancient cities buried underwater since the days of Noah. Roberts using ancient facts from the Ice Age and his knowledge from past discoveries to support his new theory about the Great Flood. He says that at the end of the Ice Age, the water level around the globe rose significantly. North America was under at least one mile of solid ice 12,000 years ago. When that ice melted, it rushed into the world's oceans and potentially caused worldwide floods. Proof of this comes from the Black Sea. Robert believes that the Black Sea was originally a freshwater lake surrounded by primitive farmland. But when the Great Flood came rushing in, the lake filled with so much salt water that it became a sea. Robert even uncovered an ancient shoreline 400 feet below the surface the remnants of what had previously been the edge of the lake. He also found mysterious structures that could have been human houses thousands of years ago. Number 8. The Cambrian Explosion The Cambrian Explosion was by far one of the most important events in the history of our world. About 540 million years ago, evolution on our planet took off in a way that may never have happened anywhere else in the universe. The oceans of our world were suddenly filled with an unbelievable variety of animal life. The Cambrian explosion was the event that propelled evolution forward and eventually led to the development of terrestrial animals, including dinosaurs, mammals, and ultimately, human beings. But the big struggle for scientists has always been trying to find out what caused the explosion. How did a simple ecosystem of a few slimy microbes and blind microscopic creatures suddenly change so drastically? Within just a few million years, the primeval ecosystem vanished, and extremely mobile animals with bizarre anatomical features ruled the Earth. Unfortunately, scientists still don't know the answer, and it's one of the greatest mysteries of the planet, especially since it relates to life itself. Some have argued there was a steep rise in oxygen, which literally fueled evolution. Others believe it started with a few tiny developments of key evolutionary innovation, such as sight. Some creature was born with an eyeball, and that was the catalyst for even more impressive biological advancements. These upgrades came in quick succession, and soon enough, the world was crawling with freakish, alien-like sea animals. Number 7. The Green Children there is a bizarre story of a pair of green children who appeared in England in the mid-12th century. In Suffolk County, two children with green skin appeared in the town of Woolpit. They were found in a field, and they were speaking to one another in a completely unknown language. The children were also supposedly twice as tall as the other kids in town. They wore weird clothes the villagers had never seen before, and their eyes were astonishingly bright. 
But other than that, they behaved like ordinary children. They were soon adopted by a curious villager named Sir Richard de Calme, and several years later, their skin turned a normal color. The story of the green children is 800 years old, so its authenticity is questionable. To this day, nobody knows where the green children came from. Some have speculated they arrived from another realm, or they were dropped off from another planet. Others say they were the descendants of human-alien hybrids. More scientific minds claim they were most likely refugees speaking another language and had gotten arsenic poisoning and turned green. Whatever the case may be, the green children of Woolpit are one of the strangest unsolved mysteries of the world. Number 6. The Secret of Immortality There is an immortal creature living on the planet right now, an animal that can live forever and cheat death. It's a jellyfish, and its scientific name is Turritopsis dorni, but most people call it the immortal jellyfish. It cheats death by bypassing the final phase of its existence, reverting into its infant polyp stage, and then growing into an adult jellyfish once again. And it can complete this process over and over. By doing this, the jellyfish can theoretically live for all eternity. This means the secret of immortality, something humans have coveted for centuries, is hidden in the DNA of a jellyfish. Some scientists are convinced the jellyfish holds the key for human immortality. Shin Kubota from Kyoto University says once we have decoded how the jellyfish rejuvenates itself, the human race will evolve and become immortal as well. Kubota is one of the only people in the world who has his own captive population of immortal jellyfish. The secret to eternal life has to do with the power of transdifferentiation. This is how the jellyfish lives forever, by transforming itself into whatever it needs. Humans have a similar ability, but it only activates when we are tiny infants still forming our bodies. Stem cells act to produce whatever types of cells are necessary, much like the cells of the jellyfish. If scientists can figure out how to combine the science of stem cells and the secrets of the immortal jellyfish, we might be able to use our own bodies to revert into youthful states when we get old. Would you want to live forever? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! Number 5. An Ancient Power Source In the ancient Indian sacred texts called the Vedas, we see multiple mentions of flying ships cruising through Earth's skies 6,000 years ago. These flying vehicles were called Vimanas, and they were described as prehistoric spaceships. And although most modern scholars have dismissed the Vimana as nothing but a fantasy in an old story, some say they could have been real. Ancient people in India may have powered these mysterious flying machines using an unknown natural source of energy straight from the Earth itself. Keep in mind that none of this has been scientifically proven, and a lot of it is speculation. But according to Chinese researchers, ancient texts were recently discovered hidden in Tibet from thousands of years ago. When these texts were sent to the Chandigarh University for translation, scientists were absolutely shocked. The texts appeared to be blueprints for the construction of spaceships. The documents described a propulsion system that utilized anti-gravitational technology. The Vimanas were powered by a force strong enough to counteract gravity. Nobody knows how this was possible or what technology was used, but between the recovered texts and the blueprints dating back thousands of years, there could be some truth to it. There really may have been anti-gravitational technology used in India 6,000 years ago to power flying vessels. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below! Number 4. Neanderthal Extinction One of humanity's greatest mysteries is the rise of our species. Scientists have long argued over what caused Neanderthals to die out, while humans, meaning Homo sapiens, survived. Some say it was natural selection, that Neanderthals just weren't cut out for survival. Others have suggested that we murdered them all and took the world by force. The one thing that's for certain is that we bred with Neanderthals. Many people alive today still carry a large number of Neanderthal genes hidden in their DNA. 
Scientists believe they may have just solved the mystery. It turns out that a simple childhood ear infection may have wiped out the entire species. The structure of the Neanderthal ear made them susceptible to infections as adults 40,000 years ago. A study recently published by the American Association for Anatomy claims the adult Neanderthal ear was built almost identically to the ear of a human infant. Ear infections are extremely common among infants because the angle of their eustachian tubes causes them to retain bacteria. Neanderthals had ears that were shaped the same way. It's possible that Neanderthal extinction boils down to a poorly designed ear structure. They may have gotten sick when Homo sapiens didn't, which caused them to lose the battle for hominin supremacy. Number 3. The Natural Mummies of Venzone In the 17th century, the Venzone mummies were discovered in the small Italian town of Venzone. The intriguing thing about these mummies was that they were naturally mummified. Nobody tried to turn the dead bodies into mummies. It happened by accident through a natural process. The mummies were discovered in 1647 during the renovation of a cathedral. Workers found the preserved remains of a man stashed in an underground crypt. He lived during the 1300s and was found dried up like an old piece of beef jerky. Workers left his remains there since they didn't know what else to do with him. In the following years, more and more dried mummies were discovered in the crypt beneath the cathedral but none of them were taken out of the tomb until the 19th century, when many of them were transported to the Museum of Vienna for analysis. Modern scientific investigations have shown that the mummies must have become preserved in the first year after they were buried. They didn't decay very much, but they were completely drained of their fluids. Scientists have come up with a lot of different explanations. Some believe the mummies were created thanks to a unique species of fungus. It sucked the liquids out of their bodies and then preserved them perfectly. Others have speculated it was the limestone floor that prevented the full decay of the corpses. Unfortunately, we still don't have a solid answer for what happened here. The Venzone mummies are some of the only natural mummies in the world, and nobody knows how they were preserved. Number 2. Mysteries of the Deep When it comes to the mysteries of the Earth, there is no greater realm of intrigue than the bottom of the ocean. The deepest parts of our seas are so strange to us, they may as well be alien planets. The deepest part of the ocean is called Challenger Deep, located inside the Mariana Trench, almost seven miles below the surface. And although we've reached the bottom, we've hardly started to solve its mysteries. Up until recently, scientists didn't think anything could live at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. But thanks to underwater robots, we've now seen worms, shrimps, fish, and other small organisms living in the deepest part of the ocean. We now have evidence that life does exist down there, but to what extent? The Mariana Trench isn't the only deep place in the ocean. The Puerto Rico Trench is 27,000 feet deep. The Java Trench in the Indian Ocean runs 2,000 miles and reaches a depth of about 24,000 feet but the Mariana Trench beats them all at an astonishing 36,000 feet deep. But what is life like at the bottom of the ocean? In 2015, a team of scientists from all over the US dropped a waterproof microphone into the Mariana Trench and recorded for 23 days. When they analyzed the recordings, they were shocked at the array of things they heard. They heard the rumbles of earthquakes and the shrill calls of whales. And surprisingly, they even heard the sounds of boat engines. Number 1. The Calico Early Man Site The Calico Early Man Site is located in the center of what was once a prehistoric lake in the Mojave Desert. It's a mysterious place from humanity's prehistory, and it's currently located in San Bernardino County in Southern California. The landscape here looked a lot different 20,000 years ago. There was a lake surrounded by sandy beaches and warm marshes. But over the last several thousand years, the landscape changed, and the lake dried up and almost everything died. What's left now is a rocky wasteland covered in ancient petroglyphs from over 14,000 years ago. There's also the remnants of stone tools made by early human beings. 
The big mystery is that scientists can't agree on how long humans lived here or what they were doing. We know there were a lot of animals because of the crazy number of fossils that have been found at the site. It was a truly wild environment, with early humans trying desperately to survive. Some archaeologists believe the Calico Early Man site was used for tool production because so many prehistoric tools have been found here. It looks like it was used by people on an industrial level for making rock and flint tools. However, scientists can't agree if humans were here 30,000 or 10,000 years ago. There have been more than 60,000 tools uncovered at the site, which seems like a lot for what was likely a small group of nomadic hunter-gatherers. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye.